What's up, Drake? Uh, congratulations, first off, man. Uh, this, this has been such like an unpredictable draft. It seemed like before your phone rang, uh, did you have a good sense you'd be going to the Falcons, or were you shocked? Um, I wouldn't say I had a good sense. Uh, I just felt like I wanted to be in Atlanta at the end of the day. Uh, this is where I wanted to end up, and and I, I'm like, I'm, I don't even know what to say. I'm at loss of words, to be honest. Well, let me follow up on that. Why? Why did you want to be in Atlanta? Why was that? Why was that the place for you? The coaching, uh, the direction that they're going in, and just the type of players that they want to bring into their facility. Um, we're just moving in the right direction, and I and I can't wait to to go out there and put on that jersey and and, and just be a dirty bird at the end of the day. Allison Mastrangelo, WSB. Hey, welcome to the ATL. Looking forward to covering you this season. Overall, I mean, it's been a whirlwind for you, but what are you looking forward to the most about being an Atlanta Falcon this season? I think just the direction that we're headed into. Um, like I said before, I mean, the culture that they're trying to build um, and the guys that they're trying to bring in um, to build that culture, uh, whether it's previous players who are already there um, or the coaches, anything like that, you know, I think we're moving in the right direction and um, I'm happy to be a part of it. What do you hope to accomplish in your rookie season for the Falcons? You know, I'm just trying to go out there and win as many games as possible because without winning games, then what does it matter? All right, we'll go to D Orlando Ledbetter. Yeah, Drake, how you doing today? D Orlando Ledbetter, Atlanta Journal Constitution. Um, your reference to the Twin Towers, uh, you and Cal, um, what makes you think that's something that could come to fruition here uh, in Atlanta? Uh, I mean, it's just two big dudes out there on the perimeter. Um, I feel like it's a pretty good analogy to, to say that we're Twin Towers. Um, obviously, I got to earn my stripes in order to get on the field with them. But at the same time, if we do, I think it's a good nickname. Um, are you fully recovered from your injuries? Yes, sir. And, and I, I missed a little bit here. Um, what, what kind of basketball player were you? Were you a stretch four, stretch three, or uh, uh, describe your game and how you think it might help you uh, translate into catching some balls in the National Football League? No, I was a, I was a two or a three. Um, so I was a shooting guard. And pretty much just somebody who would go to the rack, I'm either dunking on you or I'm pulling threes in your face. Thank you. Michael Rossi, do you have a follow-up? There we go. Yeah, I do. Uh, Drake, I guess, what have they told you about how you were going to be used early on? Have they given you any indications of that? Like you said, you had a lot of conversations with them throughout the process. Um, you know, I, I, I got to get there first in order to really tell you what type of role out. And, um, and again, like I'm going back, I have to earn those stripes. I have to go through what a rookie, regular rookie goes through. I'm not looking to, to have any handouts given towards me. Um, I'm, I'm a person who works for everything that I get, you know, um, my mindset going in and that's how I'm going to keep it. And do you think, I mean, when you look at the receiver room as currently constructed, do you think you can step in and be a number one receiver right away? I mean, is that is that plausible, you think? Whatever coach wants me to do, I'm going to do it. Um, at the end of the day, like I said before, if we're not winning games, um, then nothing else matters. Appreciate it. Congratulations again, man. Thank you. Josh Kendall, do you have a follow-up? Yeah. Drake, just catch me up. Did you run the 40 at your pro day? No, sir. Was that injury related? Was that just you felt like you had proved what you needed to prove related? Um, I felt like I proved what I needed to prove. Uh, but at the same time, I had six to eight. I didn't have six, eight weeks to uh, train for that, you know? Right. I barely started. I was barely starting to run. Literally, I only had four days of routes before I even went out there to go run. So, I mean, I'm not going to go out there and just run a 40 without any training like these other guys got to do. Did the, Fal did the Falcons ask you about that at all? Did y'all talk about what your speed was, or do you think that the, what they saw on film was good enough for them? No. Thanks, Drake. Thank, Thank you. you. Time for a couple more. Charles, do you have a follow-up? Yes, you kind of led into it with, with what you were just talking about um, with your running. Um, where, where are you? you? You said you only had a, um, uh, a few days to 
to run routes uh, before your, your pro day. Um, I know you, you played eight games, but wh where are you now in terms of, are there any limitations on you now? No, I wouldn't say limit any limitations. Uh, the only one that I would say is probably endurance right now. Um, you know, coming off an injury, you got to start running again. Um, and again, just like I said before my pro day, I only ran like four days of straight full, full speed route. So uh, just getting my body back into the endurance and, and getting that right, I would say is the only thing. All right, lastly, we'll go to Cameron Wolf at NFL Network. Hey, Drake, how you doing, man? Congrats. Good, thank you. Um, how was, how do you envision sort of, I don't know, have you watched much of Arthur Smith's offense and how do you envision maybe fitting in there along with Kyle, uh, Kyle Pitts? Um, again, I'm going to go back and say whatever coach wants me to do, I'm going to do. Um, it's a blessing to be at this level, you know. Um, so I'm going to take everything I can, whether that's on special, whether that's on anything. I'm going to do what's best with the team.